Hey, what's going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a review of PlayerD. So PlayerD is a conversion rate optimization tool and a search engine optimization tool built into one software. At the time of recording this video, PlayerD does have a lifetime deal available on AppSumo. The single plan starts at $59. This includes three websites, 25,000 page views, 1,000 video sessions, five active forms, 5,000 SEO site audits, and 5,000 pages from the Google Search Console per month. If you need more websites, more page views, and um, more credits, then you can upgrade to the double plan or the multiple plan. So again, I'll leave a link for the lifetime deal in the description below this video. Once you get a plan for Playerty, the first thing that you need to do is enter the website in which you'll be optimizing. So once you've added in your website onto Playerty, the next thing that you need to do is you need to find the tracking code, which is easily available on your dashboard, and you need to paste that onto your website. And that's how Playerty is going to be able to pull all of its information from your website. So instead of just putting in your domain and then then pulling all the information from your domain, you'll be able to get a lot more actionable and customized visible uh, data when you actually add your tracking code onto your website. So it does take a little bit more work, but it is worthwhile because you get a lot more information back when you add that tracking code. And if you're unsure as to how to add that tracking code, they do have some tutorials here, uh, just depending on the website builder in which you're using. Um, they actually show you how you can install Plarity on your website. If you're on WordPress, the easiest way is by using a plugin. So just search up Plarity on WordPress plugins and you want to install um, the website optimization Plarity plugin. And once that plugin is downloaded, head back over to Plarity and you're going to show your tracking code, copy your code, head back over to that plugin, click settings, and then paste your tracking code within this section here. And if you're an e-commerce site, you can collect e-commerce data and sales performance. So you can check that box if you are um, wanting to collect that type of data. And once you're happy with your settings, click save changes. And now your code will be added to your website. So once you add the Plarity code on your website, that's where you'll be able to see all of the data relating to your website. But because we just added it on today, there's not that much data in which we can work with, but you can still see the features that are included in Plarity. So the first feature that you have are heat maps. So you'd be able to choose a specific page on your website in which you would like to track the movement of your users. On the right hand side, Plarity will actually give you some recommendations of pages on your website in which you can set up heat map tracking on. So these are going to be the pages that get the most amount of views on your website. And it's very easy to set up tracking. All you have to do is click track and boom, that page is now set up for heat map tracking. So if there's another web page in which you would like to track um, your heat maps, then you can do that and add that URL on this section on the left hand side here. And below that will be your clicks. So this is going to be the data in which you'll get back from those heat maps once they're set up and tracking. So this is where you'd be able to monitor those pages. You can take a look at it by um, duration or you can take a look at it by single days and figure out where people are clicking on those specific web pages. And below your clicks, you also get some more information. So you get clicks in percentage, you get the scroll depth, you get the cursor hover in percentage, sequence clicks and traffic. On the right of your heat maps will be your forms and feedback. So this is where you'd be able to create a form um, to either collect emails, to collect phone numbers for promotions, or to get feedback from your customers. And you can also create a Wheel of Fortune form in which people can spin, they can get a prize or a discount for your website. As you can see, you get a variety of different forms in which you can choose from, and it's very easy to start building these forms. All you have to do is click on the Build Form section, enter a name of the form, so this will be an email form. And this is the form builder in which you'll be able to customize and build out your complete form. So you have the form design. You can uh, change up the form description here. You can edit the form elements. You can add benefits. You can update your privacy information and you can customize your message after someone submits their information. On the right side of your form design will be your display rules. So this is where you'll be able to customize how and when this form will show up. You can customize when this form will pop up on your website. So you can choose it to be after a certain period of time, after a certain period of scrolling, or when someone clicks on a specific section of your website. And you can also customize where this form shows up and you can customize the placement of that form as well. So you get a lot of customization options here when you're creating your form. And next will be your settings where you can activate that form and change some of your form settings. And lastly is your embed options 
which you can um, copy your code and embed that within your website. Below that will be your report. So this is going to be the analytics for those specific forms that you build. And as you can see, you get some very um, in-depth data here in relation to those forms. So this is going to be your SEO page analysis um, for specific pages of your website. You'll also be able to see any pages with errors, any pages that you need to pay attention to, and any pages without any errors. So you're going to get a full analysis of your website and you'll be able to see any recommendations and errors and changes in which you need to attend to to improve your overall SEO score. Below your SEO page analysis will be your Google Search Console. So again, this is going to be the information which you can find in your Google Search Console, but it'll be all under one um, app. So it's easier for you to take a look at your analytics because again, it's integrated with your web optimization tool. And below the Google search engine will be your backlinks analysis. So this will give you an analysis of your backlinks, but it looks like as of now, you need to log in or create an account in SEMrush to have access to these backlinks tools. And lastly, you have your SEO settings. So this is where you'll be able to add your robots.txt file from your site. This allow for any collection of data from any specific pages. Um, you have your Google search console API, and you can scan your JS site. And to the right of your SEO tracker will be your conversion rate optimization tools. So you'll be able to set up any goals or events just depending on what you consider to be a conversion for your website. And it's very easy to set up a goal or event. So the first thing that you want to do is open up your website or web page with the element that should be tracked. Hover on the required element and click the right mouse button and click on check. And it's pretty simple to set up a goal or event. You can follow the instructions on the right hand side here. Essentially, all you have to do is hover over that element, copy the code and paste it into the event section on the left hand side here. And you'll be able to set up your goal or event tracking. And again, all of these instructions will be included in Plarity. So if you are stuck, you can just go ahead and read through these instructions um, and you'll figure out how to add and set up a goal uh, using this tool. And below that will be the data for the goals and events in which you set up. You can also set up a funnel using Plarity. So if you have a specific journey that you would like your customer to go on when they enter onto your website, you can set up that funnel within this section and you can track and monitor um, them as they go through that funnel. So step one will be naming the first page in which the funnel will start from. So most likely this will start from your homepage or maybe one of your more popular blog posts or pieces of content that attracts most of your audience or traffic. The second step can be then then they go over to your blog and then the third step could be maybe they click on one of your products or services and the fourth step will be uh, maybe they go over to your checkout and they actually make a purchase. So that would be an example of a funnel in which you can create using Plarity. And once you hit create, your funnel will be here on your right hand side within your list and you can click on that funnel to be able to see some analytics um, relating to the funnel in which you created. And the last feature included in Plarity is the ability to record your session. So you can set up recording um, on your website and your website or those specific pages that you choose will be recorded. By having session replay enabled, you'll get a deeper understanding as to how your traffic and your users behave on your website. By seeing how people navigate on your website, you can then use that data to make changes on your website that will increase your conversion rates. So as you can see, there's a lot of really powerful, intuitive, and very useful features included in Plarity. If you have a blog or you sell products or services on your website, then I highly recommend downloading this tool. At the time of recording this video, there's a really good deal on AppSumo. You can get the lifetime deal for a one-time purchase of $59, and that will be more than enough to manage and optimize your own personal websites. If you are an agency or you manage multiple websites, you can upgrade to the double plan, or you can stack some other codes on the multiple plan so you really can find the plan that works best for you and the portfolio of sites in which you manage. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you got some value from it. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.